Hey guys, how are you doing? Hope you're having a great day. Um, in today's video, I want to talk about the ice fishing float suit that I've been rocking this year. Um, I've been using the same float suit for about four or five years now until last year it started to kind of fall apart. So I knew that this year I had to, um, you know, pick up another suit. At first, I wasn't quite sure what brand I wanted to go to and at the Toronto ice fishing show uh, back in December, I saw the clam ascent suit there at the clam booth and I really, really liked it. And as you guys can see, that's the suit I decided to go with. Uh, when researching about the clam suits and more particularly the ascent suit, um, I noticed there wasn't too much um, information about them online and on top of that a lot of the dealers here in Ontario uh, didn't have too many in stock. Uh, so today I want to talk about the suit, talk about some of the features and kind of give you guys an overview of the suit, of inside the suit and such um, so you guys get a better idea of it. So this suit has Mosin Float technology, it's uh, Clams Float Assist technology. It's not a true flotation suit as in it's not uh, Coast Guard approved but if you are to fall in it is going to help you float and it's going to help you get to safety. Um, there's actually a great video, I'm going to link it down below, of a guy jumping into the into his pool wearing the suit. Um, you know, his head stays above water and he's able to swim to shore. So I wear a float assist suit throughout the whole winter. I mean, we're on about eight inches of ice, but I'm still going to wear it because you never know what's going to happen. When picking a suit, definitely 100% recommend going with a float assist suit. So the parka and the bib both retail at 260 USD. Um, it's, I believe, one of the more expensive suits that Clam has to offer. Uh, the reason I went with it is the feel and the warmth that I'm going to talk about, or I'll show you guys here in a second. Uh, but the shell on both the parka and the pants it's 300 day and year. It's waterproof, it's windproof. Aaron and I actually fished in the rain back in January and while he was soaking through his suit, uh, the rain was kind of just beating off my suit. So I stayed really dry, stayed very really warm. Um, it's relatively windproof as well. I've been out in some windy days and I've been nice and toasty inside. Um, but like I said, 300 day and year shell on both of them. Um, going to the park, as you guys will see here, the cool thing about this suit and one of the main reasons why I went with it is Canada is cold, Ontario is cold, and I wanted to have the warmest suit possible. Um, the Ascent suit comes with a removable liner. This is a clam, just fleece liner you can see here and it's removable. I've personally been using it just because um, it's really, really warm, but it just zips up on both sides here, buttons by the neck and buttons down the sleeves and you can take it off if you wish. On the inside, we have two 10 to feet of lining and a little drawstring to uh, keep the coat nice and tight. Uh, but overall, the parka is definitely very, very warm. And quickly going around on the jacket, the hood is removable if you don't want to wear it. There is a ventilation system on both sides of the jacket. We got two zippered pockets here, two flap pockets here, and we have a pocket on the inside here as well, which actually comes with a waterproof phone holder uh, that I took out because I don't personally use it. A smaller pocket here and a little drawstring here that you can keep pliers or scissors, uh, etc. Onto the bibs. The bibs are pretty neat. They're a little different than the ones I had before. I'll talk about that in a sec. But, um, you know, same, same material. We have a nice belt loop here, um, which I don't use, but I do have a little strap in the back here. It would have been nice to have some more uh, built-in adjustments to the bibs themselves, but uh, this does just fine. Two fleece lined hand pockets here, two bigger pockets here. I keep scissors, I keep my ice picks and such in here. And the great thing about these uh, pants down here is that the length is actually adjustable. So. Um, my old pants were not. These ones are. Um, they're set up pretty short when they when they when I bought them, but I was able to extend them, and uh, they fit my long legs a little bit better. Um, on top of that, we have nice padded knee pads, which is great when you're fishing out on the ice. Um, a storm flap here, same thing as the parka, just kind of keeps you a little bit more windproof. And on the inside, so this is actually the little waterproof um, foam pouch. 
as you guys can see here, I have hand warmers, Kleenex, and some Ricolas in there. Just some little stuff that I don't want, you know, to go missing. There is another retractor here, and the pants themselves actually also have removable insulation. I think it's 100 and... 50 gram insulation that's removable. I can show you guys here. It just unzips right at the waist area, goes down to about just past the knee. And you know, if you're fishing a little bit warmer climates, you can always remove this extra layer. Again, I just keep it in so like it can be nice and uh, toasty and warm. But uh, that's the overview of the suit. Um, again, I've been using it for about a little over two months now and so far I really like it. Uh, I haven't fished in anything colder than I'd say negative 20 degrees Celsius yet uh, but so far so good. It's been keeping me nice and warm and um, I'm you know really happy that I went with this with this suit. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this little overview and I'll see you guys in the next one.